hi fellow artists and welcome back to my channel I'm so happy that you decided to come back and watch this new video today's video is a vlog episode about my process in creating remembrance remembrance is a very special piece because it was done as a piece to remember um, my cousin Sarah and other loved ones that have passed away. Um, I know we've all have kind of experienced a very rough two years with COVID and we have lost so many people during this time. And this piece here, which I will show you, is what remembrance is. So... It is my first ever mixed media collage that I did. I have been, so you can kind of see the whole thing here. I have been really inspired to expand my style a little bit and experiment and for new styles besides just acrylic painting, just drawing. And I've been watching a lot of art YouTube and looking for a lot of different artists and creators and finding things that I that interest me that I want to try. So this particular piece was inspired by Sean, who is a mixed media art journal artist on YouTube. <coughs> and I really love the way her style is. So I wanted to incorporate that excuse me, some lasting effects from COVID yet. Yeah. Hope you have your favorite drink as you're sitting and watching or whatever you're doing. But to get back to uh, this particular topic, sorry. Um, I just love the way how she uses her experiences and her work and how she chooses the collage packs, the stencils, the colors, and everything. And just the fact that her pieces are grungy, they speak volumes, they're inspiring. So, and the reason why I did this <coughs> particular piece for Sarah because back in August, we had lost her. She had lost her battle to addiction that she had for 17 years. It was quite a shock to the family. Um, and for me, myself, getting that phone call from my mom at 1130, 35 at night, um, saying that she had passed away. Um, a lot of emotions came up for me in the next week, <coughs> days after her passing, before her funeral, and a lot of anger, a lot of rage, um, sadness, just sadness for her two kids that she left behind, for her brother, for her mom, just <coughs> sadness. That's... And even for myself, <coughs> in my own childhood trauma and things, and the fact that it had been well over 10 years since I last spoken to her and seen her happy and smiling and just so bubbly and full of life and wanting to live and to take care of her kids. And then as family members started posting videos of her on Facebook and it was just like, I don't really even know her anymore. And parts of her life that I wasn't even as family, you know, a part of. And none of us were really all a part of it um, while she was struggling with her disease. And it's just heartbreaking to see them and knowing that 
I have lots of questions of why, why, and I felt she was very selfish for, for choosing the drug over her kids, over her family, everything, just to get a fix to take her pain away. Because she was grieving. She was grieving the loss of her grandma Beverly at the time. And just, it's like, why did she just give up? Be, why? And those questions I will never have answered. The family won't have answers to that, those things. And it's been a very hard summer or fall, I would have to say, because autumn, I mean, summer was ending in August and we were going into autumn for myself. And it took me quite a quite a while to process, excuse me, to process through all these emotions. Um, and one of my, after she had died, I wanted to bring more awareness to this. And I wanted to paint the faces of mental health and addiction and create a show about that and paint mine my portrait as well because I have my own issues with mental health and I couldn't paint her face and I had a lot of anxiety and I wasn't ready to say goodbye and I felt I had an imposter syndrome where am I going to capture her right? Because I really don't know her. Am I going to get the details right? Am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to execute it? Am I good enough of an artist? And those were some really <coughs> tough moments. Thankfully, I had a friend of mine who was the former facilitator of our group really walk beside me because she's also a fellow addict to help me understand some of those feelings that people go, you know, being that she was in Sarah's shoes and what it was like and to help validate some of those feelings. But the last prompt before she and, you know, was the facilitator was about doing something special for someone that you love in whatever media and however you choose and I at the time when that prompt was I refused to do it because I just wasn't ready for it and then in some other conversations she brought up the suggestion of actually doing the prompt and doing it for Sarah and the idea for what I for remembrance was kind of like happened on the spur of the moment and the feelings and <clears throat> I had music playing and then I had supplies that I had just purchased for collage I was to know how I was going to use them and then I started going through them and there were pages from the children's book of a little girl with her dog um, a bird in the bird's nest and a, bro a brother and a sister and all the pieces that I used for it just kind of fell apart or just kind of not fell apart but fell into place <coughs> and there was another piece of it um, my family is um, Christian and the creation story uh, about the tree of life in Genesis 1 and Adam and Eve. And I started thinking about that as I was crying in process. And that's where the idea of the tree came in of the tree not only gave us life 
but at the same time it gave us death and with our sin and Eve um, taking the apple and eating the fruit and then becoming naked because of that and cast out of the garden. I won't get all Bible thump, uh, preaching here, but this was just part of the process of me talking about it. <coughs> and uh, it just kind of fit. Um, in the, as the heart of the piece, as the last piece, part of the piece, and I put the two birds on there <coughs> as a way on each side of the tree because, and I left one almost pure white, and then I left one with a little color, I'm turning to, as you can, I'll bring the piece back out to kind of show you tell you what I'm talking about or show you what I'm talking about. So this particular bird is almost pure white and the texture pays. And I left that as Sarah or you know that she's on the other side of the tree of death. And this one in this corner has some color left to it of a of a family member that's still here and the crosses is part of you know symbolizing that and something that I hold very dear of when we believe in Jesus that we are saved and we have eternal life and that we will live again with him and if that we someday that I, I will see Sarah again. So I just wanted to share this piece with you because it is something that I truly, truly hope that this gives you peace as you remember family members that have passed away. And not only that, my message with that is open your heart. Don't pass off a family member or a friend that is struggling and saying, it's not my problem to help them. Because you never know if that conversation is going to be your last conversation with them. So I just encourage you to reach out any way possible. I know COVID is making it really hard for all of us to stay connected. Families are falling apart over the littlest stuff, over political views, over the, you know, what's going on? Should we get vaccinated? Should we not? You know, and we're getting divided over personal opinions instead of coming together, supporting one another during this and talking to each other. Mental health and addiction is running rampant right now because people are lonely, people are scared, people are shut in. They don't know what's gonna happen. So I just really encourage you to love one another. And reach out. Uh, I really want to say thank you for all the support that I've gotten by starting this YouTube channel. Um, I hope to have more videos other vlog episodes of just talking about other pieces and kind of short uh, teaching um, because right now it's really hard for me to stream from top or film from top down because I'm still working on getting lighting equipment, the reacher arms and stuff and 
working on getting a better desktop so that I get in edit more so <coughs> but um, one step at a time but I just wanted to say I really appreciate this because it has helped give me something to do and I want to be able to spread awareness and for mental health, for recovery, pe people in recovery, <coughs> for addiction, I want, through my artwork, and I, sorry, I really hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And I will catch you on the next blog. I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye.